All right, look, I'm going to try to get this, get right to the point on this. Recently, Sansa Ray Monique, this is a, the YouTuber who supposed to have been dead a few years ago. I just finished eating. Y'all got to excuse me. I didn't get this big because I don't eat. Um, the YouTuber that, that was supposed to be dead a few years ago, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, she now has a channel called Black Macho. And I always get these little recommendations from her YouTube shorts. And last month, she put up a YouTube short featuring something that Don Lemon had said 10 years ago. Literally, 10 years ago. And she put it up talking about how she agrees with him. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say it, and I agree. And I looked at her comment section, all I'm going on, I agree, he telling the truth, blue, 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 blue. This is the problem with black people. Y'all be so thirsty to hear something negative about your own people that you never consider all of the peripheral factors, peripheral factors that go in with whatever they're saying, like motive, like context. You know, something could be true in certain contexts and not true in others. You can't just listen for something just to hear what do they say that's true and you jump on it and say, you see, you see, they're right. Black people, this is black people, that. You can't do that, bro. We can't be like that, man. But I want you to hear what Don Lemon said because this was in the wake of the verdict of, 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 of what, his, what his name was, Zimmerman. Um, can't think of his first name. Zimmerman, after he stalked and deleted a young Trayvon Martin, you know, this was in the wake of that, you know, the, 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 the conservative media kept trying to turn the, 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 the topic towards the black community. Now, I give Don Lemon that much credit. He wouldn't go for it at the time, right? He kept stopping him from turning the topic into towards crime in the black community because, first of all, when Trayvon was deleted, it wasn't in the black community. That's the first, first, first thing. This took place in a in in a, a conservative voting white community. That's where this took place. He was deleted there in a, in a conservative county. That's where he was deleted. So this had nothing to do with crime in the black community. But that's how the conservatives kept trying to frame the argument. And these are the people Anton Daniels is trying to convince you all your friends. These are the people, these dudes in the red pill are trying to convince you or your friends. You got to listen to what I'm telling y'all, my brothers and sisters. You got to hear what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm not telling y'all vote, de vote, vote Democrat. I'm telling you, beware of the snakes among you. Beware of the covert social operations at play trying to, try, tr trying to bring fuck you into seeing the world through a false lens those people on that side are not your friends i don't care how messed up the other side is that don't make them your friends this is not an enemy of my enemy situation so anyway don lemon would not let them frame it like that but after the verdict ended according to don lemon and that's him and his husband on the on the thumbnail behind me according to don lemon he said, now it's time to talk about these things, talk about some tough love. And he gave five reasons for five things that black people could do to fix the black community. Something he knows very little about. Embarrassingly, embarrassing, uh, embarrassingly enough, the clown was actually born in, in, in Baton Rouge. It was too, way too close to me. I'm, I'm from New Orleans, so that's next door to me, which is a shame. But he, he came from like coon type of people, you know what I'm saying? Um... They raised him mainly around white folks, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and being from Baton Rouge don't necessarily mean he grew up in a black community. That's another thing. They all small white communities in Baton Rouge, so he could have always grew up around white people, you know? So, I mean, the dude really should not even be speaking on the problems and the ills of the black community because he is disconnected from the black community, always has been, you know? And then he plays a clip of Bill O'Reilly the, the, the goddamn Satan incarnate, you know what I'm saying? Plays a clip of him agreeing with him. I mean, listen, bro, nobody give a damn about what Bill O'Reilly says, man, about black people, bro. 
Again, y'all problems that y'all listen for whatever little smidgen of truth they say. And y'all run with it. Oh, man, he spoke the truth on that one. I'm just keeping it real. No, you're not, old coon ass nigga. You're not keeping it real. You trying to you trying to justify siding with people that hate you, bro. Look, bro, as a street dude, we got certain... How to say this here, man? How to say this here? We have certain decorums. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think of how to say this here, you know, in, in a more elegant way. We, we have certain ways we move, bro. You know, let me tell you something. An enemy of mine can't never get me to agree with him on nothing. If it's fuck me, then it's fuck you. No, I said that wrong. If it's fuck me, then it's motherfuck you. It's double fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, enemy of mine can't never say anything that I'm going to agree with in public, in a public space. I'm not going to do it. You're not going to be completely disagreeable, disagreeable with me on everything that matters and expect for the one few times when the truth is on your side for me to acknowledge that. No, I'm not going to say it's a lie if it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to, man, I'm going to spin it back, you know? I'm going to be like, well, y'all motherfuckers do the same thing. You know, what about when y'all do this here? You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll spin it back, but I'm not going to just sit there and agree with them and start talking about my own people. I won't do it, bro. I've had these moments, man, living around white folks, man, where white folks try to ask me something about something uncomfortable, you know, expecting me to side with a certain narrative, and I shoot that down, bro, real quick. But I'm y'all, I'm, I'm the coon, though. I'm the coon. Let me play this first clip, man. Let me, let me get to this first clip because, you know, this this is the stuff that that's the problem. Listen, listen to how Bill O'Reilly say these things. The Trayvon Martin murder case got just about everybody talking about race and not just specifically how it related to the case. It got some, many on the political right, wondering why the so-called liberal media wasn't talking about other problems in the black community. But now that the jury has reached its verdict, one that everyone must accept, it's time now for some tough love on the subject. And so listen to this. The reason there is so much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African-American family. He's got a point. In fact, he's got more than a point. Bill? Raised without much structure, young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture, drugs, hustling, gangs. Nobody forces them to do that. Again, it is a personal decision. He is right about that, too. But in my estimation, he doesn't go far enough. Now, now, now here's the problem. This is that old time, you know, logical fallacy. You say something in a broad sense and, and, and that sounds good, but it's really not that good. Him saying that that we are not forced to do the things we do is just not true, bro. It's just not true. You know what I'm saying? Let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> I'm a victim of circumstance. Frail nigga couldn't much work with my hands. When my mind was blown, I was, I grew where you hold the blacks up. Trap us. Expect us not to pick gats up. Where you... But you drop your crack off by the Mack truck. Destroy our dreams of lawyers and actors. Keep us spiraling, going backwards. Mind molded. No, no, he didn't say mind molded. Excuse me. Blindfolded. Expected to walk a straight line. Mind molded. Taught to love you, hate mine. You can't say that we choose these things. We don't have a lot of options when you grow up in certain environments. Yeah, you could try to just go to keep your nose clean, go to go to go to go to square route. But I mean, but how many squares are suffering right now? How many square people with the square route they're still homeless out there? How many people with the square route got jobs, got degrees, and still homeless, underemployed, unemployed? Y'all talk about this shit like there's guarantees with taking a certain route and y'all are old enough to know right now that there are no guarantees. Y'all all sit here like hypocrites, still repeating the same old lies 
regurgitating the same old narratives, knowing damn well that that stuff is not true. That whatever route a man take, that's just the route he take. You can't call none of it a choice. There are options. Because we are inside of a system and we don't have choice. Suppose I don't want none of it. Suppose I just want to live off the land like that and like, like we're supposed to do in nature. Suppose I want out of this system. See, we don't have choice, people. So saying that nobody's making us do these things is not real. It's not true. You grew up in poverty, man. You grew up watching everybody who go the right way still struggle. You're going to start thinking to yourself sooner or later, man, I need to do something different. I don't want to go that path because I see how that path is in it. And we can see that shit wasn't going away way back. It's worse now. It's worse now. The America y'all are growing up in is not the same America I grew up in. That's real talk. It is worse. So all these things that they're trying to blame, they are not causes. They are symptoms. They are reactions. They are consequences of the system. Understand that, man. Understand that, bro. Listen to what I'm trying to tell y'all. These are consequences of the system. The disintegration of the black family is a consequence of covert social operations such as feminism and other type of things, you know what I'm saying, like the welfare system. And I'm not saying that women shouldn't, you know, get money if they need money. That's not what I'm saying. But look at how they use that system to break apart families. But when nobody's talking about that system is available to everybody, but we the only ones, our women the only ones who used it to break apart the families. I mean, it just is what it is. But Bill O'Reilly is full of shit. These are not causes. And no, we don't have choices. You have options. When your options is none. Tell you, man, Jay-Z didn't put a lyric out for all this stuff, but y'all don't like Jigga. That, that line that I, I quoted it before, that was Jay-Z. That was Jay-Z. He said all that, you know what I'm saying? I grew where you hold your blacks up. Trap us. Expect us not to pick gats up. Where you drop your crack off by the Mack truck. Destroy our dreams of lawyers and actors. He said it, bro. Blindfolded. Expected to walk a straight line. I mean, how are we going to walk a straight line when you, we, we, we can't see where we're going? We have no idea how to maneuver through this madness that we're in, that we grew up in. This damn matrix we grew up in. We trying to figure this shit out as we go, man. We blindly moving through this stuff. And we got Negroes like y'all sitting online judging us. Just because we didn't go the way that you went and you struggling. But you won't tell that story. You won't tell how miserable your life is. You sit here and still repeat these white man cracker talking points. These racist talking points. You sit here and repeat them over and over to your own generation, your own younger generations. Misleading and misguiding them. And you wonder why we are in the worst place today than we were 20 years ago. Than we were 40 years ago. Then we were 60 years ago. Because of y'all. Let me go to the second clip. Because I ain't done with this shit. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Here's number five. And if, if, if this doesn't apply to you, if you're not doing this, then it doesn't apply to you. I'm not talking about you. Here's number five. Pull up your pants. Number four now is the N-word. Now number three. Respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. I live in Harlem now. It's an historically black neighborhood. Every single day I see adults and children dropping their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just feet away. Just being honest here. Number two, finish school. You want to break the cycle of poverty? Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. And number one, and probably the most important, just because you can have a baby, it doesn't mean you should, especially without planning for one or getting married first. More than 72% of children in the African American community are born out of wedlock. So says the man 
that is homosexual married to another man. But they're going to want to adopt a baby at some point, you know. But, but let me get to the point. Let's, let's break this down. First of all, again, this clip is 10 years old. Why did Sansa Ray Monique put this up right now? I don't know. Because it's not really relevant. When was the last time y'all seen them dudes walking around with their pants off? Now, to Don Lemon's credit, in the, in the clip that he actually showed, if I remember, I'll put it in the description. It was a lot of white boys walking around their pants sagging too. He did mention white boys, but he talked about this as though it's a black community problem, but it's not really just a black community problem. There's a lot of white boys that used to walk around like that too. But that fad has kind of died off. It's not all the way gone, but it's died off. I don't see it as much as I used to see it. I mean, there was a time when it's all you seen. I don't see it as much as I used to see it. So, you know, I don't know why Sansa Ray would put that up right now. But let me talk about that whole pants thing. As trifling as it was, as messed up and ugly and stanky as it was, it still was not the cause for our, for our community being the way it is. You think niggas pulling their pants up is gonna change the police shooting brothers down the back? Do y'all go on Dr. Rashid's YouTube channel and look at all of those stories he do about police shooting black men while they land on the ground, while they hands up, while, while they face down. I mean, got it. they can't even hit him, he land down. So they, they start shooting at the ground, bullets bouncing everywhere just to shoot the dude and the dude land down. Shooting him in the back while they, while, 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 while they, while they on their knees, their hands up still shooting. I mean, we have a problem here. You think pulling your pants up gonna change that? Because a lot of these dudes getting shot, they're not the ones walking around with their pants hanging off their ass. These are, these are Joe Citizen blacks that they are shooting, bro. These are regular old square dudes that they're shooting. These, these, these dudes, some of these dudes that got with, with that brother named Philan, uh, 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 Castillo, Philanthro, brother had a, 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 a firearm permit. He wasn't no, no, no pookie with a, with a criminal record and all this and stuff. Killed the dude for nothing. Come on, man. And, and, and all of them, you can go down the list. We have a problem here. You think you think a few dudes pulling up their pants is going to change that? You think these dudes pulling up their pants is going to change the systemic racism that we live under as black people? You think that they're going to change the way they deal with us with redlining and the banking system and the financial system? You think all of that's going to change because some dudes pull their pants up? Did not these things exist before this little sagging phase came in? Yes, they did. The next thing this almost said something about that man. Oh, fact, let me get these, let me get these doubles and stuff off of my back, man. Let me, let me, um, I need something positive up here now. Let me put something positive up here. Okay, here we go. So, the next thing he said, the N-word, once again. First of all, this is what makes me mad about y'all. Y'all don't even understand the history behind the N-word. It there's a book written in Amhadic Hebrew called the, 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 the Book of the Kings. Do you know what kings is it, it, it's the uh, uh, El Kibra Nagast? Something like that. Kibra, Kibra Nagast. King is Nagast. That is the ancient Asiatic word for king, Nagast. You got Naga, Niger, Noer, Naga. These are all words for black that describe black people. They're not words that describe a color. These are all words around the world that describe the people that we call black. They was calling us kings. The word nigga was never a negative term. Know who made it negative? Coons like Don Lemon. Took the word. See, for some reason, we hate being called by our proper selves. So you got these Rainbow Coalition type, Jesse Jackson type Negroes up there speaking for all of us. And they act like they get offended if they call us anything other than African. We are not african but we are kings we are nagast that's what we are we are kings we are queens 
we are not Africans. So the word nigga, it just a, it, it was just a phonetic variation or, or, or uh, variant of the words that they used in, a, in, in, in Europe and in, in Africa and stuff to describe us as kings. It's just a variation of it. It was never a negative. They made it a negative. Our people made it a negative. People like Don Lemon think he's speaking for us made it a negative. It was never a negative. Now, let me move on. And, and again, that word doesn't matter. You think they're going to stop treating us the way they treat us if we stop saying nigga? Come on, man. Get real. Next thing he said, care about your neighborhood. The reason why I let that play is somewhat because that's about the only thing I agree with. But... Having lived in white neighborhoods now myself, I can tell you that the only difference between the black hood and the white hood, I mean, the, the upscale white hood, not, not, not the trailer parks. Or the, they got they are white, some white ghettos too, you know. I'm talking about like the upscale white areas, right? The only difference is that the, um, the, the community services is better. You know, the trash pickup, you know, the, the grounds crew, they have grounds crews most of the time in all these neighborhoods. They have better trash pickup. So their neighborhoods stay a, li a little bit cleaner because people clean the neighborhood. It's not so much that the residents keep it clean. Other people keep it clean. Because they throw shit on the ground too. They take their dogs out there in a park where people sit there and try to picnic. Let their big ass seven foot tall dog take, 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 take elephant shits right there on the ground. And they leave that shit. A pile of shit look like a damn dinosaur let it out his ass. Sitting on the ground man. People out there trying to picnic and play frisbee and shit. They didn't let the dog shit and walked away. They do that trifling shit too. So they're not, they're not innocent of all this shit, man. They're not, they, you know, they do it too. But I do agree, we need to take better um, care of our own surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Have a little more pride in your environment. But here's the problem, and this is why I let it play also. How can you have pride in an environment that all we do is talk shit about? All we do is talk about how we can't wait to get away from black people. How can you have pride in an area where no black person in America speaking in a platform has pride in it? When the last time have you heard a single black person talk about the ghetto like I talk about it? How I said we need to make the hood all good again. They don't say that. They won't out. To them, the hood is the worst place in the world. And, and the only thing you can see that makes it so bad is that it's all us. But these, again, are the blacks y'all support. These are the YouTube channels that y'all support. These are the people y'all super chat. These are the people y'all super thinks. These are the people y'all 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 shoot Vimbos and cash apps to. These are the people y'all support. Y'all don't support a brother like me that's saying we need to reinvest back into our environments like we used to do no y'all don't like me y'all don't like me see y'all can't stand me but y'all like the ones telling y'all to get away from black people get out the hood the ghetto ain't shit it's just overrun by pookas this, this, this. so how can you have pride in the area when you are bombarded with negativity about that area 24 7 from blacks, whites, and others, mainstream media, your preacher, everybody. Tell me how. I got you, huh? Come on, admit it, I got you. Right now, the people that still watching who didn't already get in their feelings and get mad and click it off, y'all saying, damn, this nigga got me. He right. I know I'm right, but let's move on to the next one. School. Oh, man. Woo. Stop saying that you're acting white because you go to school or speak proper English. First of all, nobody say they acting white because they speak proper English. When, when, when we talk about somebody speaking like a white person, we talk about the we talk about the intonations that they are using. We're not talking about that they that they pronounce words clearly. That's not what we're saying. We talk about how they talk, the rhythm. The pitch, that's what intonations is, in case y'all don't know. That's what we're talking about. So, I mean, stop, 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 stop skewing the argument. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to make it sound like it's something that it's not. And it got nothing to do about going to school. Nobody ever called nobody white because they want to go to school. 
And last I checked, y'all must forget school is mandatory, so most black people do go to school. They drop out when they can if they're going to drop out, but shit. I mean, do you really blame them? You're getting taught a whole bunch of brainwashing shit, negative shit about you. They constantly re rewriting history. You know, first of all, they got nothing good in history about us. They give us one damn short month to give us a whole bunch of lies and have truths about what we supposed to have done after we came out of slavery, which we was never in. Come on, man. School is disrespectful to black people, bro. It's amazing that we haven't rose up against that whole schooling system yet and then demanding that we educate ourselves. But of course, we're not going to do that because, again, the blacks that lead us support this system. This is the problem, my brothers and sisters. This is the problem. School is not the answer, man. You know, like I said before, you got underemployed. Uh, uh, you got unemployed people with degrees, master degrees, PhDs are underemployed. You know, you got people with all manners of, uh, 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 of uh, 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 certificates and certifications that, that, that can't quite get jobs and everything. You know what I'm saying? And then the way the whole system is set up, say if a, a person has a certification in nursing or something, and she gets arrested for writing bad checks or, or some, you know, this is something that, this is a real story. I know that's why I mentioned it, but, but you know, and I don't think nobody really writes checks no more, but she got arrested for white collar crime. They told her she could no longer use her certification to work. Although her certification got nothing to do with what she went to jail for. They use every excuse in the book to ruin your life within this system. And if you black is you double, triple fucked. They will use any and every opportunity they can to ruin your life in this system. The problem is this system. Schooling is not the answer because school is nothing but an indoctrination camp. In fact, you can actually draw a parallel between the number of blacks that, got that, that, that further their education and the, and the disintegration of the so-called black community. It's just not the increase in, 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 in single parents or all. Or children being born to wedlock because all of that is is due to the feminist phase and one of the main traits of the feminist black woman is going to college so the more she got educated the more the less interested she was in family but we ain't gonna talk about that oh man this is the realest youtube channel y'all got bro look i'm gonna complete this mission the haters ain't gonna stop this i'm gonna get this truth out man because this is coming from allah i'm gonna get this truth out the more educated we got the less we cared about our own. We sought out opportunities among whites. And when we couldn't get them, a lot of those people returned to the black community to leech off of us and use us like Dr. Umar Johnson, like Dr. Boyce Watkins, like Dr. Claude Anderson, like the Nation of Islam, all these Hebrews and stuff, all these people, if they had, a, if they had the opportunity to not deal with you niggas again, they would never deal with y'all again. If they had the opportunity to live some kind of way where they can make money without dealing with you niggas, they wouldn't even talk to y'all. Their pro-blackness is by circumstance. I'm a victim of circumstance. Frail nigga couldn't much work with my hands. Their pro-blackness is circumstance. That's all it is. They don't care about you. They don't give a damn about what goes on in our community. They don't give a damn about Pookie, for real. They don't give a damn about Shaniqua, Shaniqua, or whatever you want to call her, for real. They don't care. If they had the opportunity to, 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 to uh, what's the word I want to use? Come on, man, help me out. I wish, I wish this was live so somebody could help me with the words, you know what I'm saying? If they could just leave, migrate, so to speak, uh, in, in, into another community resettle you know what i'm saying into another community they would they would they do it physically they get away from y'all as soon as they can physically they do it idealistically they they are completely separated from y'all idealistically the only thing they can't do it is is systemically systemically they're still black and that's the circumstance that keeps them tied to us then that's it if the system was not was to stop being racist tomorrow, man, we psh, and gave niggas the option to even put on their on their paperwork their race and change their race. Excuse me, we'll see a we'll see a quick a, a, a huge decrease 
in the black population right away. Got to drink a little water on that. Ah, I get hyped when I'm doing this shit. But anyway, let's go to the last one. But let me but be clear. School is not an answer. In fact, again, I mean, I want to make this point clear. You could draw a direct parallel between the more we become educated to the disintegration of our community. It's a parallel. The more we went to school, the more we went to college, the worse our communities got the more divided we became. Because now you got black men also sitting up there with their college degrees. They don't want to do nothing. They think they're too good for everything. Come on, man. I'm not the only one looking at this shit now. Come on. Tell me I'm not the only one looking at it. Tell me I'm not the only one looking at it. And number five, children out of wedlock. Now, this is another piece of bullshit because once again, you could draw a direct parallel between feminism and the and the embracing of feminism among black women and the number of children being born out of wedlock. That's a parallel. But I'm not saying that that's a problem. Let me tell you something that I know. Now, just mention these, these dudes with their degrees that think they're too good for everything, right? The, the, the Jason Black type niggas tell them, but you don't just have kids willy Lindy because that's your, that's your legacy. But nigga, you got no kids. You and half the dudes that listen to you got no kids. Y'all mad at Pookie because he makes all the kids. But you niggas ain't producing no kids. Because you can't control that woman. So you don't have kids. Do you know what would have happened to us by now? If 25, 35, 40 years ago, all the black men started thinking like these red pill black dudes think. Do you know how our population would look right now in America? We would be at a negative 50 right now. We will be on the verge of extinction here in America. The only thing keeping us going is these women that y'all are knocking that have all these kids. And the dudes that y'all are knocking that make the kids with them. Y'all too afraid to have kids because you can't control a woman. You don't want child support. You don't want this. I get it. I get it, bro. Child support will mess you up for a couple of years. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But man, if we don't reproduce, we die off. So you either reproduce with that black woman, you go get another woman and you reproduce because the black man still produces himself. It don't matter who we mate with, we still reproduce ourselves. So you either do it with that black woman or you do it with somebody else. But we cannot stop mating. We cannot stop having children. That's what they want us to do. They are deliberately trying to find a way to get us to stop having children. And you couple that with the poisons that's in our food that I truly believe target us specifically. I look at young black men these days, man, they bodies all soft and pudgy and stuff. We was never like that young. I myself eat healthy and I can't get this weight off for nothing. I mean, it's stuck on me, seem like, bro. Because at one time, I thought I was eating healthy, but I wasn't aware of all the genetically modified foods and all the chemicals in the food. I just wasn't aware because in my dumb mind, I couldn't imagine why would our FDA and food regulators allow for poisons to be put in our foods. And then you hear a story like the yoga mat thing with the, with, with, with the braids at the fast food restaurants. You hear a story about all the chemicals in the foods and stuff. You're like, Why? Why would our regulatory agencies even allow these things? Man, we have something like 100 chemicals allowed in our food, carcinogens allowed in our foods here in America that are banned in other countries. And I truly believe these chemicals target black people specifically because all you stupid ass educated Negroes gave these white folks y'all DNA talking about you want to know which tribe from Africa you come from. Dumb fuck, you're not even from Africa. And now you're the gay, these mad scientists, your blueprint, your genetic blueprint, so they can look at it and try to figure out how to target you exclusively. That's all you did. That's all you did. Gave them people your blueprint to kill you. But I'm the coon. 
I'm not the one who ran down there to, to, to something 21, whatever that thing was, and, you know, with ancestry. I, I'm not the one who went over there talking about I'm trying to figure out which tribe. I know my family history. I know my, I know my ancestors from the Americas. Right here in the Americas. I ain't, I ain't West Indies too. West, my ancestors from right here in the West Indies and the Americas. I ain't had to look nowhere. I know my, but she, y'all educated Negroes, all you know is what you were taught by this white man in his system. That's the school part that y'all want. You don't even know nothing about you, but you talking about go to school. What good is it doing you? So y'all running down there giving these people your blueprint. Your blueprint. So now these mad scientists could put anything in that food to target us. And I look at white folks all the time. They don't even buy organic. Me and my wife, we eat organic every damn thing, paying out the ass. These white folks sitting in the stores, man, eating regular ass fruits and vegetables and shit. And they slim. Up in age, too. Like, how the hell do they stay small like they eating all this poison? Because I don't think the poison affect them. I think they've tweaked this shit to target us. And if you sitting there thinking they won't do it, you don't understand this world that you live in. And, and pulling your pants up, not using the nigga word, you know, picking up trash in the community, going to school, and, and getting married is not going to change the fact that their goal is to see you gone. So not having kids only help them. The only person y'all are hurting with this silly red pill stuff is us. Man, y'all ain't hear me, bro. Y'all ain't hear me, bro. Y'all ain't hear me. Support the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to receive notifications when I drop more videos. Because now I'm on a roll now, bro. Look, I'm about, I'm about to start being cush. Because I've been playing, bro, before now. I've been playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the first few months doing this shit, bro, I was really just trying to get y'all attention. I was just trying to really try to stay on certain topics to draw y'all in. Say, bro, but now, bro, you know, I'm, I'm running out of time. Allah's putting this shit on my heart. Allah's telling me, man, look, man, put this shit out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Put this shit out there. So, I mean, I'm going to start putting it out there. But everything I see in here that I can use for an example, I'm coming with it. And the example's coming me all day, bro, because we so messed up. We just don't even realize how messed up we are. And that's my job in this here. I am a sadhu Allah, the lion of Allah. And I'm going to help y'all see what's wrong with us. So, if you want to donate to a brother, you know, send a brother a few bucks. Venmo at the Black Alpha. Cash app at the Black Alpha. PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. You see it on the screen behind me. So, man, you know, it's greatly appreciated. But truthfully, right now, man, just help me get the message out. That's that. That's the best support you can do. I know y'all don't want nobody to know y'all fuck with me and everything, man. But come on, man. Y'all, 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 by now, y'all see the real. Y'all see the real, bro. And I ain't justifying nothing that we do. Like Jigga said again, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to justify genocide, but I was born in a city where the skinny niggas die. You know, look, I ain't trying to justify none of the bad things that we do. I'm just telling you that the bad things that we do are not the causes for our situation. They are symptoms. They are consequences. They are reactions of something that's done to us. They have broken us mentally and it's being expressed in several ways. If y'all can't see that the whole Manosphere slash Red Pill, the black... MGTOW slash Manifest Match slash Red Pill, the black community. Y'all can't see these dudes are suffering from mental illnesses. I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all don't hear how confused a lot of these brothers are? Y'all don't hear how incoherent their arguments be? Y'all don't see how they sitting online, kicking about women all day? He, he, look at her, look what she did. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all can't see that there's something wrong with these dudes? These dudes are fucked up, bruh. They fucked up. This system has broken them just like it broke the dude with his pants, bro, hanging off his head. That dude is broken. That's a sign of defeat, bro. When you walk around like a damn bum and you 17, 18, 19 years old, man, that's a sign of defeat. His mind is broken. See, when y'all see that y'all, y'all like, like, y'all hate these dudes, but I feel sorry, man. Y'all have no compassion for your own people. Y'all have no empathy for your own people. But I'm the cool. I'm the coon, huh? Y'all hate yourselves. Y'all hate your own. Y'all hate everything about yourselves. But I'm the coon. 
and every little thing that one of these haters say about us that's true y'all quick to cheer them on tucker carlson say something y'all cheer them on Bill o'reilly racist ass say something y'all cheer them on y'all sit around and talk like the republicans are your friends y'all sit around talking like these like the, like the feminists are your friends like biden is your damn friend but i'm the coon huh y'all better all wake the fuck up bro salam <laughs>